Hello everyone and welcome back to Zaclit Educational Channel. So in this video we are going to know about the NAMP program which is one of the very important topic but rarely which is studied by the students who are giving the environmental science entrances be it CPCB or UGC net environmental science examination. So in this video we are going to know about the NAMP in a key points manner. So get ready with your note to note down all these points. So without wasting much time let's start today's video. So guys before starting the video I would like to say that there is a playlist for the CPCB exam preparation if you haven't watched you can watch the link given in the i button as well as in the description so it is actually from the different pollution control board entrances it is very very important for the exam coming to the NAMP so first of all it can ask the full form it is already asked in the exam once in CPCB the full form is National Air Quality Monitoring Program that is NAMP and Central Pollution Control Board initiated this National Ambient Air Quality Monitoring Program so this different NAAQM this full form also you can note down National Ambient Air Quality Monitoring Program in the year 1984 so this is about NAAQM with seven stations at Agra and Anpara. So these two places, seven stations were selected for monitoring the air quality. Then subsequently, gradually, the program was renamed to NAMP. So this NAMP father program, you can say, it is NAQM and this NAMP is the subsequent renaming of NAQM. So this is about the NAMP introduction then we will see what are the pollutants considered in this program for air quality monitoring so four air pollutants have been identified under this NAMP program for routine monitoring at all the locations so what are these pollutants they include sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxides respirable suspended particulate matter RSPM or particulate matter 10 and fine particulate matter they are called what they are particulate matter 2.5 so these are the four air pollutants considered under the NAMP program you should note down and along with monitoring of air quality meteorological factors like temperature relative humidity wind speed and direction are also tracked in this program so these are also very very important you should note down coming to the next slide where we will know among the the objectives of the NAMP so major objectives or of this program are first is to determine the status and trends of the ambient air quality of the location so what is the current status and what is the trend going on whether it is increasing decreasing in a particular place and to ascertain whether the prescribed ambient air quality standards are violated so we all know that there is ambient air quality standards given by the CPCB so whether that place the air quality is as per the standards or not next is to identify non attainment cities so what is meant by non attainment cities this term you should know so first we will know this term then we will come to the final objective non attainment cities under the NAMP program are what in the violation of the establishment of national ambient air quality standards the CPCB has compiled a list of polluting city as the non attainment ones so those cities who are not having the standard air quality standard as per the national ambient air quality standards they are listed as the non attainment ones so they are non attainment cities so based on the ambient air quality data collected between 2008 to 2010 under the national air quality monitoring program this city have been recognized so this thing you should note down a city with the non attainment air is one where the standards for the national ambient air quality were not met so as we discussed in the first point so when the cities were not having the ambient air quality standards as per the standard protocol so they are considered as the non attainment cities so states are developing and putting into effective action plans to reduce air pollution in the non attainment cities so these cities the states are also taking steps in order to reduce the air pollution and it should not be under the NAMP program final the objective is to obtain the knowledge 
and understanding the necessary for developing a preventive and corrective measure so in order to go and clear this prog problem that is in order to reduce the high air pollution we have to know and understand the knowledge for prevention and correcting the air quality of certain non attainment cities so that is the objective we have to reduce the air pollution let's move on to the next slide yes next slide here we will know national ambient air quality program monitoring how monitoring is done and who is doing the monitoring so the monitoring of the pollutant is done twice a week for a duration of 24 hours so in one week two times we have to take the pollutant reading four hours we have to take for the gases pollutants and eight hours for the particulate matter that means for pm 2.5 and pm 10 we have to take eight hours and for four hours it will be for the gases pollutants within the duration for a 24 hour that means done twice a week resulting in a total of 104 observation in a year so if you calculate all then it will be 104 this number is also important 104 observations in a year for that particular place next is the central pollution control board that is cpcb spcb state pollution control board pollution control committees and niri that is national environmental engineering research institute nagpur are all involved in the process of monitoring so who are monitoring this so these all boards along with niri they are monitoring this namp program the cities so we should know how many cities currently are under the monitoring of namp so this network currently has 804 operating stations throughout our country over 344 cities and towns in 28 states and 6 union territories of our country so this is the current situation where this namp program monitoring is going on so you should not get confused with the naaq and other monitoring system so this is different that is national air quality monitoring program so here it was a short video where i wanted to tell you the key points regarding this program i hope you have noted down and you have learned something new from here so if you want to see more such videos for your upcoming examination of cpcb you should watch this playlist which is very very important i have included all the important videos so see you guys in our next video don't forget to subscribe the channel to get all further updates see you guys keep smiling and believe in yourself